By the way, dude, I've been straight edge this whole fucking month. Which means? <laughs> means no drinking, no drugs. No, not. Well, not that I was a big I'm... drug guy, but like I, I quit drinking in 2018 and then gradually over the year and a half, I just sort of replaced it with eating gummies. And I just sort of realized... I told this story. I took mushrooms for the first time. I, I heard, and then that's the, we were getting to that. Yeah, and I, um, you know, I had the the giggles, and you know, I didn't take a like crazy trip, and but shit definitely looked like was it was breathing. You know, the toilet looked like it was breathing. The TV looked like it was getting bigger and bigger, and it was gonna fall on me, like shit like that, which was kind of you know, it was fun. Did your wife know you were on them? Uh, yes. And was she on them? No. Uh, listen, listen, I, I declined to answer that on the grounds that might incriminate somebody. You got it. Um, so I, uh, after about, it was about a four hour trip, about two hours in, I just had this profound sense of loneliness, the exact opposite. I guess what you're supposed to feel not being loved and, uh, yeah, I just, that's what I felt lonely and not love. So I'm laying in bed, I'm looking at my wife and I'm thinking like, Jesus Christ, did I marry the wrong person? You know, which when you're married, you mean you think that every like five, no, I don't think every five days. Now it's more like once a month, but back when I was more volatile, every two, three days, fucking see this shit, ah, ah, screaming, yelling like a, and it was all me, right? But so I was like, all right, wait a minute, let me think about my kids. Cause that's a no brainer. I know I love my kids and I know my kids love me. And I thought about them and I still felt it. Same feeling. So I was like, all right, so this isn't that. This isn't, this isn't them. This is me. What the fuck is this? And I just laid there thinking about it, you know? And I was like, oh shit, this is what I felt like growing up. And this is what I've been running from for the entire 30 years since I became an adult. You know, drinking and, and, and fucking uh, uh, getting in arguments with people and just trying to achieve shit and just uh, just trying to just keep just keeping the smoke behind me. And this was just sort of like you got to turn around and steer back into that and you have to do it without an altered mind because that is not helping you and it's affecting the people around you in a negative way. So I, you know, I went back to therapy. I was already in therapy. So now I sort of know, you know, like this, like, you know, having a glass of wine or having a gummy or something like that uh, is, you, I, I was never doing that for the right reasons. Like I 